sunset in Moab. Figure it'd be a good time to do a little exterior walk around of my little camper that I got. It's a 90s model uh, pop-up truck camper. Did quite a bit of work to it since I got it. Wasn't in horrible condition when I got it, but you can see I got uh, some lights going underneath it. Works off remote. Got a little LED light on the back. I have an amber lens on it right now. Uh, all the lights work off remote so I can operate them in the truck if I need to. I got, uh, got a diesel heater in it, 12 volt. So you can see the uh, tank for it's back here. There's also back here as well. Uh, have it sprayed with the Raptor liner on top and bottom. All right, so we're gonna do a little interior tour of the camper real quick. Kind of looking at the bottom here. Get that cord out of the way. Gonna start at the roof and work our way down. Um, it does have a manual vent. Uh, right over here, right above the countertop. Uh, when I'm cooking, I put my stove right there so you know I can vent out the vent. Um, works great. I have left it open two or three times. Drove down the highway at highway speeds and didn't have any issues of it blowing off. <laughs> um, the canvas itself is still in great condition, especially for the age. No complaints there. Uh, not any rips or anything in, in the canvas. Um, it doesn't leak. Nothing on the camper leaks at all. Um, you know, there there is a little staining up at the front there that you can see that was there whenever I got the camper. Um, as far as the windows go, um, all of the vinyl works exactly as it's supposed to as far as zippers, things like that. And it's all in good condition, no rips or anything in, in the vinyl, you know, the actual clear vinyl part at all. Um, so that works like it's supposed to. All of the, um, these are the, you know, the shades, uh, they just roll up out of the way. Those all work like they're supposed to. You see that one I got lazy and didn't didn't crawl the way up in bed to roll it all the way up but um, the bug screens though this one I believe doesn't have any holes in it I don't see any holes in that one but pretty much all the other ones do have some holes in them uh, so I'm sure those could be replaced or something but the back one's the worst one you can see all the holes in it but otherwise they work as work like they're supposed to um, let's see here. Oh, the lights. We got some LED strip lights here. Uh, two of them. One at the back and one kind of a little bit forward at the middle of the camper. Uh, those work great. You're not going to need any more light in the camper at all. Um, they do work off of a remote. So you can change the colors. Uh, you can dim them or make them brighter. Right now they're as bright as they go. Um, they'll even strobe, strobe or like beat to the music if you want them to. Um, let's see. So working our way down here, this is the couch area. Um, it's very comfortable. Oh, one more thing about the roof height. I'm six foot two and I can stand up in this with boots on and not hit my head. Um, so it's, it's very tall on the inside. Um, okay. This is the couch area. Um, that's set up in couch mode right now. All of the fabric's good except for this rip right here. Not too much of an issue for me. Um, this piece right here, the back piece does fold in half as you see. Um, I will set up the desk here in a minute. Um, and then also there's a little, I can kind of turn this into a chase lounge type, type deal. I'll show you that in a, in a minute as well. Um, all the windows work correctly, which really it's just this one window. Um, there's a window in front of that. It works correctly. I just, I never use it because of the cabs up there. Uh, but this one works correctly and the bug screen's fine. Um, this one doesn't open. This one right here on the other side of the cabinet opens, but uh, you can't get to it because there's a desktop here. Um, move down here and this is the diesel heater control I 
and the diesel heater lives over here I don't have the mounting permanently mounted it's just stuck on there so you can kind of do whatever you want with it um, I believe it's an 8 kilowatt heater and or 5 kilowatt heater either way it'll run you out of this thing in the winter I can't in negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit and only had the heater turned up to about three quarters of the way and I was burning up um, so yeah take that everyone take it um, as far as diesel use goes it has a two gallon tank on the back of the camper and depending on the temperature like if you're in the low teens or less um, that two gallon tank will last you about two nights is um, about 10 to 12 hour nights um, if you're uh, in the 20s or above uh, you can get about three to four nights off that size tank uh, this guy right here folds down had to do that because the roof mechanism comes down in that area whenever the roof is down um, so you can put whatever you want over in this guy it does come with a rear view camera and everything to hook it up the rear view camera is already mounted to the outside of the camper right above the door and the wiring is plumbed for it so all you have to do is uh, run the wiring from the camper to uh, the dash in your truck and then it has a on off cigarette letter plug for the power on it works good happy with it um, this is just three quarter inch plywood for the countertop here um, sink is totally removable and collapsible and if I didn't have trash in it you'd be able to see that it does have a drain in it um, the faucet here is just a 12 volt rechargeable a USB like USB rechargeable faucet um, this cap right here I use whenever I'm traveling and so when the roof comes down it does clear the faucet but I'm a little bit paranoid on the button that's on top of it um, I'm worried about it coming on while you're driving and pumping all your water out so what I normally do is I just take this out it pulls right out and I throw it in the sink and then cap that pipe off uh, during transport uh, water capacity for the tank I'm not sure exactly what it is but uh, it's around 10 gallons um, it does have a, a gray tank right underneath the sink the sink just drains directly into it um, take it out and drain it wherever you want the water tank is not it doesn't have a water heater in it but the the tank itself does have a heating pad on it um, and that heating pad will keep the water from freezing and we'll keep it somewhat warm um, especially when the temperatures are real cold and that is 12 volt and it's already wired up um, for cabinets we just have this and this uh, just cheap plastic stuff from Walmart electric panels right here there is an area right behind the electric panel not sure not gonna be able to see it very well um, but a you can take this um, this one, this cabinet out it's not bolted in this one over here is currently bolted in uh, but you can take this one out it's just strapped in and a mr. buddy heater will, will uh, fit right up in that hole I made it specifically for that uh, just for like a emergency in case that one ever quits which I've never had any problems out of that one uh, using it for several weeks every every day um, the electrical panel is over here Let's see if we can get a view of it Um, this does not have a battery in it um, It was built to run off the battery that's in my truck So you will need to add a battery uh, wherever you want to put one at and but everything's already wired up and plumbed You just got to hook it up to 12 volt however you want to do it um, It this is a inverter plug right here That's coming out because the inverter stays in my truck uh, So that will not be coming with the camper and there will be a hole there um, Up here is charging station two cigarette lighters four USBs um, this station right here has two USBs and three cigarette lighters. Um, we have a 100 amp uh, fuse panel down here. It runs everything in the in the camper. Um, this switch right here is for the tank heater, the water tank heater. And this guy right here is uh, runs all the lights, and they they are ran off of a key fob. so we have these interior lights that are ran off of it 
as well as the there's a like a porch light a little LED cube that's mounted right above the door that's ran off of it and there's also <coughs> like under underglow lights that are mounted on the outside of the camper on the bottom uh, so you can see at night when you're walking around um, those are also on ran off this Um, you can see I just I'm just using Reflectix for the window covers that works great to um, hold the heat in during the winter. Pad right here can come off. This originally, I believe, was interior storage, uh, but whenever I got it, there in the interior portion was gone outside, um, so I just built it out of metal or framed the outside out of metal. As you can see there um, five gallon buckets do fit down in this area I had three five gallon buckets whenever whenever I was gone <coughs> um, I, I use those for various storage stuff <coughs> let's see here okay the probably wondering what this is a little beat up now that is the shower pan yeah this thing has a shower even though you can't see one um so there is a pvc pe uh, cap right here on this little cabinet door and you can see that the bung right there <coughs> basically i have a 12 volt rechargeable shower head with a pump built into it and uh I'd hang a shower curtain up here to the ceiling. And this guy would go in the floor, run a pipe from connecting this to that, and then a hose goes on the bung. Then you can run the hose wherever you want to, but that'll allow you to take a shower in here uh, if you need to, and it works fine. Um, not as great as a regular shower, of course, but um, you can stand up and take a, a, normal, uh, a normal shower. Um, uh, let's see. I think that's about it. <laughs> oh. This is the lifting mechanism. This comes off. And this is the lifting mechanism for the roof. Um, this crank comes out whenever you're not using it and throw it wherever you want. I usually throw it over there. The mattress is a folding mattress. Um, it folds into three pieces, although whenever you're sleeping on it, I can't tell that it does that at all. Um, it's about four inches thick. It's a very comfortable. I have not had any issues sleeping in this at all. Like I said, I'm six foot two and I can comfortably sleep in this. I believe it's a twin XL. Um, it might be a little bit wider than a twin. Uh, you could sleep two people up there. It'd be a little cramped. Um, but it, it's definitely doable. Um, but like I said, I'm six foot two and I fit up there. No problem at all. Okay, here's the desk. It's my favorite part of the camper, honestly. It's just three quarter inch plywood. Stores up underneath the bed whenever you're not using it, completely out of the way. Um, the way it works is it just wedges up underneath this bracket right here. And then this guy right here is normally lowered down to the, uh, to the floor and flush with the top up here but then you just raise it up and stick a pin in it and just sits there and it works great um, this is what I work off of this is what I eat off of um, another good thing about it is since it's not permanently mounted and the way it's set up you can slide it all the way to the back to give you some more uh, working room in here um, so normally what I'll do is I'll be cooking up here and then I use the countertop up here all the countertop space because there's not much and then I have extra countertop space over here and then whenever you're sitting down working, it is very comfortable. Uh, of course, this, that guy's normally in there, uh, but kind of see how that works right there. 
uh, but you can slide it out or in to whatever depth you need away from you and it makes it very comfortable okay so one more feature of the desktop is this right here um, you can set it just like that and sleep with the roof down or sleep an extra person whatever you need to do um, so that cabinet right there like I said earlier is not bolted down it's just strapped in there uh, just take it out stick it in the floor stick your feet down in there and then you can arrange all the couch cushions uh, they they arrange perfectly right down there in that area and it's actually very comfortable I've slept down there before all right so this is the kind of chase lounge feature that I mentioned um, there's a board screwed to right there and then this one just wedges up against the wall and just pull that pad up over it scoot that pad over to that side and it's actually pretty comfortable you can sit there and watch TV do whatever you want all right so this is the underbed storage fit all kinds of stuff up in there super deep and I'd say it's about five inches tall um, 